I'm about to do a story time but before I get into this video I'm gonna need y'all to like comment and subscribe please and thank you this video is a story time of when I went to Orlando for the first time ever like I never been on a plane before besides that that time so my friend Miko Terrio and her cousin Destiny Guerra, they were all had already planned a trip together me and me worked together well we did work together back at this time so I already knew about the trip where she was going and stuff but I wasn't really like trying to go she called me probably, I want to say it was on Sunday. I want to say it was Mother's Day. I feel like it was, but I'm not sure. I don't remember. But she called me like in the morning and like she was already, they was already there. They were in the pool in Airbnb in Florida and they had some edibles and shit like they was high. And they calling me. You know, I answered. I'm like, what's up? Like, y'all have, they was having a good old time down there. And I'm like, all okay. right. And then Meek, she was like, I really wish you would come down here. Like, it would be so much fun if you could just come down here. Like, you know, just saying, like, she was just saying it. Like, she wasn't, like, asking me to come. She was just saying it. But then, like, after a while, they was like, you know what? Rose, we about to look up some flights. I said, look up some flights. <laughs> Me on a plane at this very moment. I never got on a plane before. I'm scared. And I gotta, go on, I know I gotta get on that bitch by myself. Hmm. <laughs> that sounded a little. A little steep. I didn't really floor it. And just kept asking me. And I'm like, you know what? Alright. Okay. So they booked me a flight. This shit is so last minute. Like the flight left at like I think the flight left at like nine. And I it was five o'clock. I don't have nothing packed. I don't have a way to the airport. Like, it was just a whole lot, a whole lot of, it was like a lot of bullshit. I kept like saying to myself, like, this is probably going to be the only time that you don't have to do this. It's like, why not? It, and it's so impulsive. Like, I don't usually do like, like, I do impulsive shit, like, plan something last minute or go out around the corner last minute, go to the bar last minute. But as far as getting on, hopping on a plane and just going to a another state that's not what I do I don't do that <laughs> so I was like fuck it no. so I guess there I finally have somebody take me uh, my friend came here her and her man have picked me up from my house and drove me to the airport they which I am so grateful for honestly because ain't nobody else was trying to fuck with me and it was pissing me off because nobody was trying to do what I needed them to do. It wasn't coming through. So, yeah, we did that. They dropped me off at the airport. Now, mind you, I just told y'all I never flew a plane. So, when I got into the airport, I didn't know where to go. I didn't know what gate to go to. I didn't know nothing. I'm on face. I had, as soon as I got off the car, they tried to test me. I'm like, bitch, you got to walk me through this. I don't know what the fuck is going on. So, I ended up getting to my plane. I ended up running. Like, she had a video of me running 
to the fucking gate because I was late. Well, I wasn't late, but I almost late. So I'm running, pushing people, pushing past people. I'm just. She's a runner, she's a track star. Like, I'm going. Like, this shit, it just be, it just embarrassing. And then at, what, at some point, I stopped to take my shoes off. I have no, actually. No, I didn't even take my shoes. My shoes were already off because I had to go through TSA. So my shoes were already off. I didn't put the bitches back on. I said, you know what? I ain't got time for this. And I just took off. I said, oh my God, that's me. What the fuck? What if I miss this plane, bro? I'm gonna be sick as hell if I don't get on this plane. So I made it. And I sat by myself in a row by myself. I'm like, bro, like this is not how I envision my first time on a plane. It was not supposed to be about myself. I was not supposed to be about myself. I wasn't. And I was scared as fuck. I was scared as fuck. <laughs> the plane ride wasn't even that bad, honestly. It was actually like pretty soothing. I was scared at first because of the takeoff and all the turbulence and shit. But it got better. And when I got there, it was just like. I couldn't believe I did what I just did. Like as soon as I landed and I got out and I see palm trees every fucking where, I'm like, I really just did this. Like I really just, this, I just did this. Like it was so crazy to me. So I'm not that person to do this type of shit. Playing scared me. I'm damn sure I like you on that bitch on and I did it. I was really proud. But um yeah, I got off the plane. Got with them. Then we went to drove to our Airbnb. Mind you, uh, throughout the whole ride home, my head is out the fucking vehicle. Like, I'm just like acting like I ain't got no home training, no kind of sense. Just out here just doing dumb shit. Let me get our Airbnb. We got in the pool. Yes, our Airbnb had a pool outside. Then we went to 7 Eleven at like 3 o'clock in the morning. It was crazy. My friends are honestly some folks. Because, like, the only reason, actually, the only reason I did it, I wasn't really like anticipating on going because I didn't have the funds to at the time. I couldn't pay for myself. So they paid for my ticket. I paid for that. But they paid for my ticket. They split it. It was just nice. Like, they sent me a bad bitch. Honestly. But after we came back from 7 Eleven, we had went, we just went to sleep, if I'm not mistaken. And then in the morning, we went to Waffle House. And then after the Waffle House, we went to a helicopter ride, which was wonderful. Like, that shit was fun. We went on a helicopter ride, and then we went back home, and we sat in the little pool for a second to, like, to have to figure out what the fuck we, like, wanted to do next. And we were just like, let's drive to Miami. Crazy shit ever. Three-hour drive with... New Amsterdam in a water bottle. <laughs> just fucked up. Just drunk. Not the driver, no. But the passenger was fucked up. We drove three hours to Miami. Um, we got there, we parked, and we walked to the beach. And then after the beach, we decided that we wanted to go out to eat. So we literally like changed the car. And after we got to eat, we went to this hookah bar. Nah. This is the part where he just gets blurry. Like, I do not know. I don't remember. A lot of shit, like, it's crazy. We got to the hookah bar. We met, we met like all these dudes there. Like the bouncers and shit, like they were trying to talk to us or whatever. And so, like, we got a table outside. I don't even think we bought hookah. Wait, I think we did. I think they bought us hookah. And then, like, 
I was smoking blunt, like I was just crossed. Like I was fucked up. I was crossed. I was fucked. Like I cannot even fucking function, honestly. And then at some point it was a dog that showed up. And I'm just like, whose dog is this? <laughs> In my videos that I be watching, it's like who the fuck dog is this? And how the fuck do you get here? Y'all. Um, and then we went, we've been, it was just crazy because like they were trying to influence us to stay in Miami or whatever. And he said, I'll pay for the room, yada, yada, yada. Y'all can just stay here. And we just like, excuse me. Okay, fuck it. We gonna stay in Miami. Excuse me, Miami. Because we didn't like driving three hours back. Two o'clock in the morning. Like we're, we're not trying to do that. Anyway, so it is what it is. We, but. We just thinking that this is going to be a hotel. Like, a hotel like fucking Wineham or Red Roof or like, you know, a Hilton. A, a hotel. No. Absolutely fucking not. No. Absolutely fucking not. Of fucking course not. We get to this hotel. We come in. Bro. Look like, it's like a hotel for fucking prostitutes. We get in there. It's a mirror on the ceiling. It's red lighting. It's a see-through fucking bathroom. Not a see-through shower. A see-through bathroom. So when you go in there and take a shower, everybody can see you strip. Naked ass down at that. I'm like, what the fuck? And then this stair, like on this side, is going up. And then up there is a shrimp bowl. It's a sure roll there, y'all. And I'm just like, holy fuck. Now, what did we get ourselves into? I was just done. I made some money that night, though. I didn't do nothing for the money. I got the video on how I even got the money that I can show y'all. I literally didn't even do anything. That's the funny part. And my friends were there, too. Like, it was so funny. But it was so funny. And then like we just all feel like comfortable after like an hour or two. We just like, alright, yeah. We about to go to so they feel like they didn't they about to fuck. No sir, you are not about to fuck nothing. So we about to go. We just think you about to fuck. It was just that simple. <laughs> you ain't fucking none of us. Sorry. So, we were getting ready to leave this nigga. We trying to be the slickest bitch as possible so they don't know where we about to go. Cause we don't know what the fuck they mean. Like, right? what they gonna be on. So, we trying to be the slickest bitch as possible. And then we, like, all in the car, we about to close the door. Like, I'm in the back seat with Destiny. Or, no. Am I with Destiny? Is Destiny back? No, I think Destiny was. I don't know if I think it was me. I don't know who was in the I don't know if it was Destiny was here. But, anyway, I was right there with somebody. I think it was here. I was right there with Keith. No, I'm not even Destiny. One of these bitches I was back there with. And we about to close it up. This nigga pops out from our car park. This way, it's a door back there. This nigga pops out the door. I'm like, oh shit. He coming to her, he's like, yo, yo, where, where your friend going? Talking about me. Where's she going? Where y'all going? Where y'all about to go? Y'all about to go? Thought y'all was staying. Thought y'all was staying. We all like, nah, we about to just dip. Like, we we good. Like, we just about to go or whatever. And he like, got, got mad and shit done. Would not let us leave type shit. So shit, me pressed on the fucking gas. We shut the door. This nigga done. Beep, beep, the car. Beep, beep, like, who the fuck are you? Like, I know you ain't just beep, beep, the vehicle that we rented. Like, bitch, you better hope it ain't no motherfucking damage. Cause you will be getting a bill. Like, don't play with me. Oh, mad ass. Cause you ain't getting no pussy. And you gave me all the money for no reason. So you pissed. Like, boy. Bye. 
be on some weird shit. Like, you should never even gave me the money in the first place. Like, why would you? If, if it wasn't definite that you would get fucked, why would you? And then it's just like, why would y'all take us there anyway? Like, y'all just assumed the whole situation. And it wasn't even that. So now y'all stupid and feel dumb. So now you mad. We were talking about that shit the whole way, homie. Literally. That probably was like the most eventful, the funniest fucking night of all nights. Like, it was so funny. So yeah, we get back. I called Joe, cause at the time me and Joe wasn't together, we were just talking. And that's my way right now. But we wasn't, we wasn't together, we were just talking. And he had to get up for work that morning. So we got home at like maybe five or six in the morning. So I calls him and I tell him all the tea. All the tea. Cause if I can't talk to you, I don't think who the fuck is talking to I'ma let you know, like I'ma let you know. And I'm not I'm not about to sit here and just like not tell you. Like I'm talking to you. I'm gonna tell you what's going on. What's going on? That's fair. Ain't it? I'm telling you what's what. Tell you what happened. But yeah, we was up all that time and then the and then later on that day, like maybe around 10, 11, we was going to what was it? Disney World. So, whew, yeah, we went to Disney World. We got on a, when we went to Disney World, we got on the rides and stuff. And that was that was our that was on Tuesday. So not Tuesday. All I know is that day was our last day until we had to well until I had to leave because I had an early flight on Wednesday. So yeah, and. We went there and we just had so much fun. It was just so much fun. Honestly. It was so much fun. The rides and shit. Like I that was a ten out of ten. I recommend that. That was a good that was a good trip. And then, you know, after that we went to Chick-fil-A. So we came back and then there's so many other friends came down too. So so many other friends was at our Airbnb with us. We got in the pool, we drank a little bit. I got in the bathtub because that bathtub looked really nice. It was really nice. And I told and I told Joe that I was gonna get in it because I wasn't about to leave that bitch without getting in that bathtub. So it was nice. I was drinking some champagne in the bathtub, y'all. I was like, I can't afford this shit. I can't afford this lifestyle. <laughs> so shit, I took I took advantage of it and I just went and did what I wanted to do with it. Her. And then yeah, after that it was it was, it was cool. It was a cool little trip. I got back on the plane by myself. My dad picked me up from the airport. But yeah, you know, it was that trip was very fucking eventful. But that's all for my story time, y'all. So hit the like, drop a comment, subscribe, share. Share with your mama, your daddy, your granny, your uncle, your auntie, even the people who don't like you and might like me. <laughs> Go ahead and share with them my channel, this video, any video, doesn't matter. Just share it, please. Alright, y'all. See y'all next time. Hear the music.